So I was at a presentation for one of my colleagues who had been there for over 20 years, and he was making a presentation on a gentleman named Lead Belly, who's originally from, uh, it's Louisiana, but it's on that border of Texas too, whatever city that is. Lead Belly came from a very traumatic background. He grew up in the 19, well, his career was in like the 30s, 40s, so in that era, 1930s, 40s, in that era. He had an anger issue, so he was in and out of prison. So someone from the Library of Congress at that time, whose name was Alan Lomax, he quote unquote discovered him while he was in prison. So that was my first time where I chose not to say nothing. I was like, I'm going to just hit him up after the presentation. (laughs) But then he was saying, well, when Alan Lomax found him, that Lead Belly was singing and entertaining and passing the time. And then that's when I just had to speak up and say that actually that's not what my people do. Singing and whatever it is, it's a way of getting through, of getting over. It's It's not passing time and enjoying yourself. Prison, he was in slavery. That's what that was. That's what it is today. That's what it was then. And that's what was going on. Fast forward to another event. And this is coming from somebody. I was there for all of two weeks, going up against somebody who was there for 20 years. And these are the thoughts that's going through my head. (laughs) But it was an ancestral charge. It was like I had to do it. And I remember back, if I were to rewind, maybe like three, four years prior to that, I probably would have went to bed with that shit and let it eat me up, which I should have, could have, would have. Exactly. And that's the de-schooling. That's the unschooling happening. You were just coming into yourself in so many ways that there's no way you could let that sit. Mm -mm, Absolutely not. 